are you? Hi, Sophie and Will. Thank you. How are you? I heard that um, you had recently been involved in the car accident. Yes, I'm not very happy at the moment. You know I run a flower delivery business. A man crashed into my bike yesterday as I was driving my disabled son to school. He came out of nowhere and I didn't see him as my son was in the basket on the front of my bike. He must have blocked my vision a little bit. Anyway, the man told me that I have to pay him for damage to his car. I cannot afford that. I'm a single mother. Not only that, because my bicycle is broken, I can't go to work to deliver my flowers anymore. It's really hard for me as I'm the only worker in my family and my family relies on me to buy food, pay for rent, school books and other things. I just don't know what to do. That's a terrible. You sound like you are in tough situation. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't you speak to Mukha? She is a lawyer, you know. She might be able to help you. Yes, that's a great idea. I'll speak to Milka now. Hi, Melka. Hi, Melka. Anne just told me you're a lawyer. Perhaps you could help me with my problem? Sure, I'm happy to help a friend. What's your problem? Well, you see, I'm in a tricky situation at the moment. Someone crashed into my bike last week, and as a result, I can't work. Now I don't have enough money to pay my bills and feed my children. My son has a disability and I need to pay for his treatments too, which I cannot afford. Not only that, but the man who crashed into my bike says I have to pay $300 to fix his car. There's no way I can afford that now that I am unemployed. It wasn't my fault. The driver came out of nowhere. My son was on the front of my bike and this made it difficult for me to see. I'm really worried. Can you help me? Of course. You must be really worried about it. It sounds like you have a case and I'm quite certain I know how to solve the problem. You do? Yes. Not only that, I'm quite sure that the driver has to pay for damage of your bike. You should be back to work in no time. That's great news. Thank you so much. I'll have to go and tell Anne. You won't believe it. Milka says that she'll take on my case and help me. She thinks I won't have to pay for the other driver's damage, but that he will have to pay for my bike. She says I'll be back to work in no time. Great news. I better go and talk to Milka before she leaves the barbecue. Thank you so much for being my lawyer. When should I expect the money so I can fix my bike and get back to work? Well, mm, I'll, I'll call you.